All right, guys, the day is here. As you can see, we have a bit of a different setup. I'm still sitting in my room, but I've set up an extra table because we are doing an unboxing today and I've never done an unboxing quite as extraordinary as this on the channel. A new generation is out and it is time to enjoy and see what is happening. I have it right here, guys. It's still in its bag. It is heavy. It is the Xbox Series X. All right, guys, here we are. I've got the Series X right here. You guys can see right there, it says one terabyte SSD. For those of you looking at the other camera, one terabyte SSD. We are ready, you guys. I'm sorry that the camera angle is so messed up, but it's, it's the best I could do so you guys could get both views. If you guys know me at all, I like to open my stuff the second I get it. It took everything in me to drive all the way home from the next town over and set all this up in order to do this unboxing for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's do this, guys. Whew. So we got two tabs right here, as you guys can see. For those of you who can't see, right there. And let's, uh, let's open them. Let's see what happens. The big moment has come, you guys. Let's do this. Yes. So we've got some foam at the top, which is really snugly fit around the Xbox. The big reveal, here it comes. Power your dreams. The first thing I noticed when I picked this up was the box is incredibly heavy, like the whole thing. The whole thing is super, super heavy. Um, let's leave the console till the end. Let's move this over. I really wanna see the console, but we'll leave it till the end. So we've got the power cord. Power cord right there, just typical power cord. Probably have hundreds of those lying around. Here's the big thing I'm interested in, you guys. The controller. Okay. So the black is different than the black on the original controllers. You guys can see it here in the corner picture. Um, it definitely fits pretty much exactly the same as the Xbox One controller. The D-pad, very clicky, but it feels very, very nice. The D-pad, very clicky, very, very nice feeling control. It has some dots at the top. I don't know how well you'll be able to see them. Probably not very well at all. But it has grips here that you can feel uh, very nice and a bunch of micro dots all along the handle and we got our HDMI cable right here I guess it does not come yeah it does not come with a C cable a USB-C for the controller that's kind of a bummer um, I mean can't charge regular batteries but it would be nice to have USB-C to plug it into the computer or whatever and uh, a little manual. Okay guys, this is the moment of truth. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. The big behemoth, let's pull it out. It is so heavy, you guys. Like it's surprisingly heavy. It's an okay size, definitely taller than other consoles, but no, nowhere near as, I don't know, just massive as they made it look in some of the other uh, videos I've seen out there. Let's close this and get it out of the way. Power your dreams, folks. little bit of tape here let's open it and a little bit of tape here let's open it there she is let's get rid of this there she is guys Xbox Series X very beautiful machine it looks awesome it's got a pad at the bottom there for it to stand on, so this is how you would stand it. And I don't know, that camera may not pick it up. This one does. If I turn it right there, you see the green? It's a small detail, it doesn't light up, but it's a small detail that, like if I'm holding it like this, I don't see it at all. But it's it's just a small detail that really makes it uh, up up its game, if you know what I mean. So we're looking at two USB ports, the ethernet port, the power port, HDMI, and the storage expander. You can see it right there. It also has little rubber feet on the side here, so you can just tilt it over and stand it this way. But in my opinion, this doesn't look as nice. I personally think it looks better this way. That's the unboxing portion. I'll show you guys a little bit of the UEI. I'll show you guys a little bit of the UI and then that'll be that. Guys, 
Next Generation is here. It is in my hands. We're ready to go, guys. Okay, guys, so we are here in the UI. I have installed Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I had recorded some of the setup process, but I was having a few issues. Uh, so one of the things that I did notice, guys, is right off the bat, connecting to the Wi-Fi for some reason, it just didn't like my router. There's the Xbox app on your phone that you can go ahead and use, and uh, it'll help you with the setup process, but for some reason, it just didn't like my Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's just my router. I have to unplug my router and try it that way, but I, I hardwired it in to get it working. Got Red Dead Redemption installed. Uh, I was originally gonna show you something current, you know, something new that just came out. So I had gone to the store. Let me show you guys. First of all, super peppy. Everything responds awesomely. It's a very, very responsive system. I was gonna buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla because I'm not a huge fan of uh, Watch Dogs. So I wanted to get Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I wanted to get a digital copy because that way I can play it everywhere, not just on my Xbox. And I click it and it shows the Ultimate Edition for $159.99. So I go to choose edition because I want just the standard edition. I don't care about the DLC. I don't care about any of that. And there's literally only the $160 Ultimate Edition or the $133. All right, guys, this is me editing. I am done filming everything, but as I was trying to figure out what I was going to try to see some of the new graphics on the Xbox, there's there's now a $79.99 version of Assassin's Creed. There is the base mode now, but you guys saw the footage. There was no base version of this game, and now it's here. So I don't know what happened. Maybe it was a glitch in the system, or maybe... Maybe we're just in a totally different time zone in Canada and it hadn't been released yet. But either way, they do have the base version of the game now. So hopefully I'll be able to try that. I will put my timer. I, I, I don't have a fancy app to time. So we're just going to use my clock app on my phone. Hopefully nobody messages, messages me anything, you know, too crazy. Uh, my, my family's here. Nobody's going to message me anything. But you guys can see the timer there and I will press at the same time if I can. Let's try it and go. Okay, I had to choose my account. Sorry, I took an extra like two seconds there. We're sinking. It's going fast, guys. It's going real fast. Move this away a little bit so you guys can actually see my face. Story mode, load screen. So I remember when I played this on the Xbox One X, the load times were fairly substantial. The game still ran well and it looked good, but uh, it was substantial. Of course, someone's sending me a message right now. It's Rigo, Spanish dude. Oh wait, it's oh, why did it stop? Okay, it's still going. It's still going. Still going, guys. Crisis averted. We're at one minute, guys, from the start, plus a couple of seconds of me just sitting there waiting. Look, boom, that's it. A minute and eight seconds, guys, from complete dead cold, not starting the game ever. This is the first time I've ever started the game to a full start into the story, and we are in, you guys. Now, obviously. Uh, I don't happen to have a 4k capture card, so we are capturing at 1080p But um, this is it. This is Red Dead Redemption you guys we are in I Forgot how beautiful this game looks But load times are insanely fast Now I don't think this game has been has been enhanced for the Series X um, I don't own anything that's been enhanced for the Series X. I do have a uh, Game Pass Ultimate Edition uh, account so I can at least try to show you guys that um, at some point I don't know if I'll be able to do it tonight I want to get this video up it's already four o'clock guys so I, I'm probably not gonna show you that today but I am gonna be experimenting with this console to see how it is and uh, yeah all right guys so my goal with this video was just to get some initial impressions and do a quick unboxing and uh, i am really really happy with this it is so much peppier than even the xbox one x it is so hard to say those guys it's there's like series x one x and s and series s and 
it's faster than the One X. I am really glad to see that it is actually responsive. Um, that was probably my biggest gripe with the Xbox ecosystem was that it was just so slow to do everything, but this seems to be responding incredibly fast. I'm looking forward to trying some new games and maybe download some stuff on Game Pass and see uh, some of the new graphical updates that we are going to see in video games. But uh, that's it for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are as excited about this new generation as I am. All right, see you next time, guys.